Hey there, this is Joel Rich with another Max MSP tutorial. This one is about how to do some quick and dirty time sync sequencing. Uh, there's better ways to do this probably, but this is how we're doing it today. All right, the first thing we're doing is opening up the Max MSP and making it a new window, and I'm gonna make a transport object. Transport, there it is, okay. Um, I think I did a little bit about this in another video, but I'll also put a link to that at the end if you wanna see that one. That one has to do with um, time sync delays. Um, so if I open this up, if I double click on it, you can see that this opens the global transport. What the global transport is, is this awesome thing that's built into Max MSP that has, that does all your tempo, can do all your tempo control, has a tap tempo. Um, you can set the time signature and you can see where it's at. You can send it back to one, you can turn it on and off. It's really great. And there's a lot of built-in support for this for this thingy thing. It's a little thingy thing. All right. Um, one thing that's good to use with this is the time point object. Let's make that now. Time point. Um, what the time point does is it monitors the transport and it waits for a specific time point. Um, for this, I'm going to make that time point two one zero. Uh, what that means is the second bar, first beat, no units. Uh, units are just a division of the beat. So if you have quarter notes, qu uh, every quarter note is a beat. And then a unit would be, say you have uh, an eighth note. An eighth note would be um, half of the total, okay. There are 480 units in every beat, so a eighth note would be 240 units. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so for this time point, I'm sending it to second bar, first beat, no units. So it's gonna wait for that, and okay, I will sh demonstrate, demonstrate how this works. Okay. So we can see it working. You can see it. All right, rewind this. Rewind it. Turn it on. Bang. Yeah, look at that. Cool, huh? Wait for it. It's going to turn yellow. Bang. Okay. That's really exciting. Um, okay. Uh, one thing we can do with the transport object is we can tell it to go to a specific location. And we do this by just using the same, uh, the same sort of... Same sort of message, um, it, like a list like this, like three numbers in a row. It'll look for the first one will be the bars, the second one will be the beats, the third one will be the units. So I'm gonna tell it to go back to the very beginning. And if I hook this into this, just like that, I can use a toggle to turn this transport on and off so I don't have to click the transport thing. Do, 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 boop, boop, boop. All right, so it's rewound. If I turn this on, Bang. Ah, now it's going over and over again. So what it's doing is every time it gets to the second bar, like the very first measure of the second bar, it's telling it to go back to the first bar. So it's effectively just repeating that four beats over and over again. So it's just stuck on the first bar. And this is useful if you want to use the time point object for doing some, doing some sequencing, I guess. Well, I'll show you kind of uh, kind of what you can do with that. All right. Um, so one thing that works really well with the transport object is the metro object. Metro stands for metronome. And what the metro object can do is understand um, time dependent timing um, or tempo dependent timing. So um, what that means is it looks at the global transport again and it tries to do the calculation for you. So before you would have to figure out, you'd have to measure your BPM and you'd have to do a little bit of math and then tell the metro object how many milliseconds in between each bang that you want it to send out. So the metro object sends out a bang at given a given interval. Uh, what this will do, so I say 4n, what that means is a quarter note. Um, one would be a whole note, one end would be a whole note, and then the 16 end would be a 16th note. Um, 
so this is doing the math for me and it and it will change as I change the tempo on the global transport. So if I send this to like 80, it's gonna it's gonna everything's gonna kind of sync towards sync to that. And you can sync this to other things too. That's a little bit more advanced, but for this we're gonna just we're just gonna yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out something. We'll get through this somehow. All right. So I can turn this on, and it's banging at every quarter note. Bang, bang. But the problem is that this won't necessarily start on beat. In fact, it will almost definitely not start on beat. Um, what we can do with this, if we want it to start on beat, and we might not, but right now I do. I can say at quantize quarter note. Um, what the at what that at quantize thing is? Um, some uh, objects take this thing. It's a, it's called an attribute. Normally, you would have to put this in a message outside the object and then send it in. But you can write it in the it write it right into the object. And so for this, I'm telling it to quantize at quarter note. So it's going to look at this. It's going to look at the transport, and it's going to make sure that. It, Make sure that it's on every quarter note according to this. Okay, so now, now when I start it, I really um, I can't actually, I can't actually start it off beat. All right, but I'm going to actually also make one that does start off beat. Metro four N and yeah, da, 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 da. Okay, and I'm going to make another one of these. And this one's going to be 16n. Quantize 16n, so 16th notes. Cool. All right. Um, what are we going to do next? Uh, I'm going to make another time point object. And I'm going to use this time point object to turn on and off one of the metros. Um, so I say first bar, first beat, I say 240. So 240 will be one eighth note into the into the bar, into the the measure. Um, so that's going to make it make this metro, which is going to bang at every quarter note, it's going to bang one, it's going to bang halfway through every quarter, like Okay, what I was trying to say was it was banging on the offbeat. Yeah. Um, and I, what I was using was a method with the time point object to turn it on and off on every alternate bar. Okay, so that's it for part one. Uh, part two is actually going to be showing you how to do a really simple uh, patch that makes music. And this is it here. And I'm going to go through it in part two. But here's a little taste. And I should turn it on, actually. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just turn it on. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be that awesome. So stick around for part two. Okay. Bye. All right. So if this video was at all helpful to you, please subscribe, add to favorites, or hit like. If it wasn't helpful to you, I don't know why you're still watching this.